I have a wool farm that collects every color of wool from 16 different sheep. Here's how to do it. Get yourself some sheep. Sheep spawn in grassy biomes, usually in flat areas, and usually two or three at a time. You can also find them in some villages. They can be lured and bred with wheat. They can also be dyed. Make a black sheep if you feel a kinship towards those, or purple if you want. Go wild. If you don't like it, just dye them back white again. They probably won't even hold it against you. Put a dispenser on the ground, then go around behind it and dig a hole underneath it and place an observer facing this direction. Fill the hole back up and place redstone dust on top. Then place some shears in your dispenser. You can fill it up to make it last longer, but they'll wear out eventually. Then come up front and dig down three squares like this. A couple stairs will make it easier to get out. Place a chest here, then crouch and place a hopper pointing into the chest. Crouch and place a minecart track on top of that, and then a minecart with a hopper on top of that. Then you can fill most of it back in with grass. I'm just leaving a hole so we can get to the chest. Then build the cage with glass. Crouch the place on top of the dispenser. We'll only build three walls for now, around the grass square where the sheep will stand. Now we just need our sheep. Here's another fun thing about sheep. If you happen to have an anvil, and I do, Make a name tag with the name Jeb underscore. Place that on your sheep and see what happens. Grab some wheat and lure a sheep over to your farm. The idea is to get them close and then push them in. It may take a couple tries. I heard it's easier when they're near a cliff, but I don't know why. Once inside, quickly place the glass blocks around it to keep it in place. The sheep will eat the grass, which triggers the shears. The wool will fall through to the hoppers and into the chest. Eventually, the grass will grow again. The sheep will grow its coat back when it eats the grass, and the grass triggers the shears again. <clears throat> hey, watch it, jackass. My farm feeds into 16 different double chests, one for each color. The chests are fed by a series of hoppers, all linked together. It's more efficient to alternate chests and hoppers, but if you have an iron farm, it doesn't matter much. You can string hoppers together to transport items from one area to another. They work vertically or horizontally, or a combination of both. Here's something you should be aware of though. These hoppers are all linked together and items flow from one chest to the other just like they should. But check this out. Items placed in here should follow the hoppers. You can see that they're all linked together, but they don't end up in this chest. Instead, they continue straight down into the hopper below. Even though they're not linked that way, they all show up in the other chest. Just something to be aware of when you have multiple hopper strings close to each other. Happy farming!